My freedom is important. You have to, to, to be active and proactive to, to preserve your freedom or people will take it away. I'm not relying on somebody I don't know. I think trust needs, um, is mutual. I wanted to have um, more freedom on what I was doing. I freed my phone myself and there's a nice sticker on it, so we're producing even stickers that people can put on their phone to show, yes, this is a free phone. Yeah, we are here to talk about FSFE's uh, Free Your Android campaign. And with me today is Thorsten Grote from Free Software Foundation Europe. And he started this campaign. So Thorsten, uh, how did this happen? I wanted to have as much control over my phone as possible. I wanted to know where the data is that I enter on this phone. And I wanted to be in full control, to remove applications, add applications as I want. But when I bought it, I found out it's not possible. So even though I bought the phone, I was not in control. I was not even really owning it. So you had this phone and what did you do then? Well, I looked in the internet and I found out that on this phone, there is actually free software running. So this is software that people can freely use, study, share, and even improve. And turned out people did that already. Like they did custom versions of the software of this phone, put it on the internet for everybody to use freely. So what I did, I got to the manufacturer's website, I unlocked the phone, so then I could install a different operating system and different software. On so it. what's the status of the campaign now? Well, the campaign is now one year old and uh, in several European cities we had free or Android workshops where we showed people life there, where they live, how to free their phones themselves. If they want to be in control, like if they don't want to depend on a manufacturer that stops caring once you sold the phone. Like with, with free or Android, you're into a vibrant community that cares about the technology even after phones are sold and more updates, faster phones, more possibilities, do whatever they want. Hugo, you also liberated your phone. That's right. So why did you do that? I did that because um, I think the phone is one of the most personal computer that I have. Information is really important and, and raising awareness that Android by default is distributed as free software. You can, so you can get free software versions of Android, and that's really important. It means we are already in control of them, potentially. So, um, Jan, you uh, installed free software operating system on your phone and also free software applications. Why did you do that? Um, I did that mainly because it's a pretty old phone. It's the first Android phone that there was built. It's the G1. And um, uh, installing free software on my phone actually allowed me to go to Android 2.3, which now allows me to run newer applications and still use it now. So it, uh, it yeah, made it have a longer life. I downloaded some uh, packages and then I just followed a simple step-by-step -step, uh, thing. I just connected it to my computer, transferred it, and there were a few commands which were, um, which were very well described, and then it just, it just worked. So it was, it was very simple. 10 minutes, I think, but it's done. It's really easy. I'm uh, an ancient uh, Linux user, then I say, why not with Android? So with me is Eric Albers from Free Software Foundation Europe, and he is giving free your Android workshops. Eric, what are you doing at these Free Your Android workshops? We do public workshops where any people can come and liberate their phones. People that go there have um, experts at the workshop who can show them how to do it. And afterwards, these people are also able to do them uh, for themselves or even help their neighbor to do it. And what was the reaction afterwards from the people? Normally all the people are ha very happy afterwards having a uh, free phone liberated. Liberated. Befreit. Libere. Liberto tutamai. Liberate your phone now.